Before you start editing your video, it's important to be organized. And part of organization is setting up uh, a series of folders to hold your, your source files. So by source files, I mean video, audio, or still images. Right now, um, if you look over here on the desktop, Kara uh, is my external hard drive. I also have an SD card with video media on it. We'll look at capturing that in a moment. And my phone's plugged in. And the phone doesn't show up anywhere, so that's an entirely different process, which we'll, we'll go over. But first, uh, I'm going to go to my hard drive. So I'll start by creating an entitled folder. And I'm just going to call this Final Cut X. And I'm going to put all my video projects in this folder. So within this folder, create a new folder. This is my, I'm going to call this my media management project. Okay, so I'm going to put all the media in here and I'm going to start by creating subfolders. So one subfolder is going to be video. Another subfolder is going to be audio. And call it whatever makes sense to you. Another subfolder is going to be uh, stills or graphics. Call it stills. And another folder I'm just going to call exports. These names aren't set in stone. Uh, you can choose different names if you want. They just have to indicate what media they contain. And any one of these folders can also contain subfolders. So in the audio folder, I'm just going to copy over a audio file. It's background music that I might or might not use. Uh, in stills, I actually have a folder with uh, still images. I'm going to uh, copy those over to stills. Actually, in this case, I'm going to keep them in the subfolder. I'm just going to rename it. It's from a project called 36 frames. So I'm just going to call it 36 frames 25. That's the horizontal dimension. So I'm going to copy that to stills. And I, of course, have nothing for exports. But uh, I would also like to copy from my Canon, and here you can see I have a group of MOV files. So um, it's always a good idea just to take the entire folder. So MOVs transfer fairly easily. It's just a drag and drop process, but some file formats contain extra, extra information that you also have to include. So in this case, uh, you know, there's nothing in the mess folder, so that's probably something I can do without. But I'm just going to copy this entire folder over to video. I would also like to back up or archive that folder as well, and I'll show you how to do that from within Final Cut. Now, the one uh, option that's not showing up is my phone. So to capture video or images from my phone, I'm going to start by going into the Photos app. And that's an app I can use for import. Here I'm just going to pick one video and then uh, click on Import One Selected. So it's imported, but that's not the last stage of the process. The next thing I have to do is export it. So select it, and then File, Export. And I'm going to uh, select Export Unmodified Original for one video. You don't want it to be changed in any way. So Export Unmodified Original. Uh, here we're just going to use the title, Export. And I want to go to the folder I have set up. So 
Um, I have my Final Cut X, my Media Management Project. I have my video folder. I have the folder from the, the Canon. I'm just going to create a new folder here. I'm going to call it iPhone because these are videos from my iPhone. Um, now generally you're going to have better subfolder names than these. You'll have subfolder names that actually mean something to the pro project. So if you have a mix of, for example, B-roll and interview footage, you might have one folder for interview, one folder for B-roll. But again, it always uh, depends on how complicated the project is. If you only have five or six video clips, then you probably don't need a lot of subfolders. Here, I'm just going to go export original. Export has been completed. And now if I look on my project folder, I have a folder to put all my Final Cut projects in. And within that, I have a folder for this specific project, which is just to go over media management. I have a folder for audio. I have a folder for exports, and I have nothing in the exports folder yet. I have a photo folder for stills, and I have a bunch of DSLR images in that. They've been resized for the screen, so they're uh, slightly smaller than they were in their original size. I have a folder for video, and in that folder I have one folder with images from an SD card. So video that was shot on a DSLR, and I have an MOV file from my iPhone. Now, this, uh, this folder here would be what I would call a master folder. And if you need to uh, move the project, for example, if you're working on the desktop because you don't have your external hard drive with you, then you need to move your project when you're done working on your edit. So what you would actually move is this media management project folder. Everything will be in it and you will move that from one place to the other. So if this were on the desktop and I was done for the day working in a, one of the school labs and I needed to make sure it was backed up, I could copy it to my OneDrive or I could go to the shares drive, the RTA common folder. Uh, I could go to my folder on there and what I can do is just uh, back this up. So I would grab the folder for the entire project and move it over. I'm not done working on it yet, so this is not the appropriate time to do it. What I need to make sure I, I have in addition to all these subfolders, I need to make sure that my Final Cut project folder is in there as well. So um, I'm gonna switch over to Final Cut and we'll look at importing media and creating a library file. So I already have Final Cut open, so we're not going to go through the startup process, but this is probably what you'll see the first time you open Final Cut. So um, this is the section where my libraries are kept, and libraries are the master file in which all your media is imported and all your editing takes place. So they're called libraries in Final Cut Pro. Other Nonlinear video editing programs have other names for them, but in Final Cut, it's a library. Here you'll see an untitled library, and the first thing you want to do is just close that. You want to create one of your own because you want to make sure that it is in your master project folder. So to create it, uh, you can just go up to File, New, Library. Uh, this is going to be my um, media management project, so I'm just going to call it that. Now, I think at this point it's important to just click on this little arrow here so you can see the entire pathway on the computer because you want to make sure it's going to the correct location, not the default movies location. We're going to link to imported media, which means that it's important that our library file say, stay in the same relation to the imported media throughout the project. So here, um, I'm going to switch this. I could actually just switch to Kara here, but it's easier if you can see the complete pathway. 
So click this arrow to see the complete pathway. Uh, I'm going to Kara. I'm going to Final Cut X, and this is the project. I'm going to save it as Media Management. It's saved. You can see Media Management now shows up here. That's my library. It's marked by these four, um, four star icons. And if I go to my project folder down here, my master folder, I can see that the Media Management Library is in the same folder. Now it's very important that the library be in your master project folder. I cannot stress that enough. If it is saved to the default location, which is the movies folder, then when you back up all your other files on your either on your folder on the RTA common drive or somewhere else, you're going to break that connection and you're going to see a lot of red missing media uh, frames in your Final Cut project.